Hey Pisces, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your finance reading for June 2020. For those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. Okay, let's see what you Pisces have going on. Mm, we have an increase this month. So the cycle that you're in is an upswing, an increase, an improvement. Let's see. Seven of Swords Reverse. Ooh, the Empress. Oh, look at you, the Queen of Cups. The Six of Cups. And the Ten of Swords in reverse. Okay, great. We have the Two of Swords in reverse. So some kind of decision is going to be very favorable for you this month. I feel like you've figured something out. You've given something a lot of thought. There was an ending here, by the way, but the worst is over. This is um, the Ten of Swords is in the reverse. So if you've gone, you've been going through some difficulty, some hard time, the worst is over. <clears throat> the good thing is that whatever difficulties you were going through, this made your uh, mental juices flow, okay? Your creativity as well was definitely flowing, your intuition. Um, all of this contributed to you, like I said, figuring something out, coming up with some type of plan, idea, strategy to get yourself out of the mess that you were in the difficulty that you were having. And so decisions were made, and these seem to be really great decisions because again, we have this card of an increase. Something is getting much better. You could be upgrading, getting a promotion, um, moving to a bigger house, uh, you know, anything of that nature. Now, for some of you, I feel that you may be receiving help from either a higher up Okay, so somebody may be noticing your talents, uh, your creative abilities, and they're really liking what they're seeing. And this person may be very instrumental in getting you to the next level. There's definitely a leveling up uh, in the month of June and beyond. So it doesn't have to be in the month of June, but it's like this energy is kicking in this month um, and may continue beyond. Um, but I do feel that uh, it's very much about harmony, finding balance this month. You're going to feel very satisfied uh, with the work that you've put out, with uh, the way that other people are perceiving you. I feel like people really enjoy having you around. You're very charismatic. Um, and so this is all working to your favor. It's like you've figured out your secret sauce and everyone is liking it. Um, so let's clarify. Let's see. Okay, the Ace of Cups in reverse and the Hierophant in reverse. So I feel here that this strategy, it has to do with you going outside the box. So whatever, like, however you used to do things or would approach things or people, projects, whatever your approach was in the past, you switched it up, you changed it. You allowed yourself to look outside the box and um, approach things from a different perspective, um, a different approach, and this is really working for you somehow. Okay, we have the Empress. The Three of Wands. And the Prince of Swords. So again, I'm getting um, that there is some sort of idea, like I said, an idea, a strategy that you have come up with that is different than anything you've ever done. Um, it's not even like you, you know, like this may be completely outside of your character. Uh, and it, it was brought about by 
some kind of uncomfortable negative event that happened in your life and a lot of times these bad events or things that we perceive to be bad events or negative events in our lives are actually blessings in disguise because they force us out of their comfort zone and I feel like that's exactly what happened here and so what you can expect now with this three of wands is about your ships coming in your ships are coming in and look at that ship you are leveling up this is the empress she's all about abundance creative endeavors that that result in abundance beauty really great energy let's see queen of cups the hangman and the eight of pentacles so when you think about the hangman when you hang upside down what typically happens you see things from a different perspective and didn't I say that that's that's exactly what happens you are more receptive okay this Queen of Cups energy so whether you're a man or a woman don't even it doesn't matter um, it, it's about more uh, receptivity um, allowing your intuition to guide you as well so again you're changing things up you're looking at things from a different perspective and uh, a different way of working, a different way of contributing, just a different way of doing things. Your day-to-day -day has changed, your habits have changed, and it's all been for the better. Six of Cups. The Ace of Wands Reverse. And the five of cups I don't know how that came out if you see it's it's kind of sideways here so hmm let me do another one eight of wands okay so movement movement forward so we're going from five of cups I'm going to take it as it being in reverse because we're going from five of cups. We're now with the six of cups. So again, achieving balance, achieving harmony. After a period of, you know, when things just seemed like nothing was going to happen, nothing was turning out, um, there was no excitement. You were just stuck in this ten of swords energy, you know, very depressing and um, stressful. Now... There's movement, there's communication, you're getting some good news perhaps, and it's all a cause for celebration. People around you, people who care for you are very proud of you, everybody's very happy. Let's see the Ten of Swords in reverse. Seven of Wands. the devil so I feel that you've been battling a lot of demons um, and by demons you know I, I don't mean anything evil or anything like that it's just whatever um, whatever has held you back whether they be insecurities <coughs> excuse me bad habits there's a, uh, an aspect of yourself that you were almost forced to face, okay? It, when this Ten of Swords happened, whatever this was, an ending, it could have been like you got let go from a job, um, somebody could have betrayed you, whatever it was, it made you realize where your weaknesses were. And that's exactly what the devil is. It's really weaknesses that we all have, whether it be addictions, um, you know, just poor behavior patterns, whatever it is. And this being in this state of despair, of pain, of suffering, of sadness, of, you know, all, all that the, the Ten of Swords encompasses, it brought out the fighter in you. It pro brought out that valor. This card is called Valor in this deck. And it made you see that, you know, you, you are worth fighting for. You want better for yourself. You want to overcome whatever is holding you back, whatever is keeping you prisoner, keeping you in that little box 
of uh, complacency that you may have been in. And now we have movement. And this movement, this change that you perceive to be something bad actually led to something good. It led to an increase, a level up, a step up. So amazing, amazing reading for you this month. I love this energy for you because I, I feel like this is something, it's not just an increase like, oh, you're getting an extra uh, couple grand, you know, a, a year increase. I don't get it that way. This is much bigger. This is something that you're going to carry with you uh, from now on. Okay, so it was like Pisces before this Ten of Swords, and now it's like Pisces after this Ten of Swords, where you've learned how to battle these weaknesses that, that you didn't even know were there. It, it made these weaknesses bubble up so that you could face them and slay those dragons. So that's what I'm going to call this video. You're going to slay those dragons this month, Pisces. Congratulations. I hope you guys enjoyed the reading, and I'll see you guys again next month. Bye-bye.